Hey sellers, welcome to our eBay Open Workshop on maximizing efficiency with eBay seller tools. My name is Tanya Severa Chaimantian, and I lead the product team and seller experience responsible for the listing tools and platform. And I'm really excited to walk you through several of our selling tools today to help you as you get started selling on eBay. So first, let's just take care of a little bit of logistics. Um, if you have a question, please use the Q&A function on the right side of the screen and we will be standing by, eBay employees will be standing by to answer any questions you might have. The things we're gonna walk through today and cover in this session are a quick overview of Seller Hub and sort of what Seller Hub is. It's the place where you go to manage all of your selling activity on eBay. Then we're gonna talk about listing tools and how we can help you with listing efficiently on the platform. We'll start with the new unified listing tool. This is a tool we're so excited about. We've just redesigned it and we're about to roll it out. We're in the process of rolling it out. And we're gonna show you kind of the key features and functionality and help you be successful using the new tool. We're also gonna take you over to our mobile app where we've built a new function to now enable you when you're scanning and listing a trading card to scan the actual card and be able to list it quickly because we'll pre-fill all the information about that card for you. So you don't have to do it yourself. And then last year will take you back to Seller Hub. So when you're trying, when you, let's say you have a bunch of listings you've already listed and you want to make some revisions in bulk, you can do that very easily using Seller Hub Active Listings and we'll show you how. So with that, um, we'll just kind of in summary, before we get started with the actual demos, we want to talk about how, we want you to take away that, that this is all about your productivity, right? You as sellers, your time is really important and really valuable. And we're all here for you to be able to increase your efficiency and your productivity so you don't have to spend extra time trying to figure out tools, et cetera. So we want to give you that as, um, to benefit your overall business and, and allow you to take the time to work on your actual selling um, on eBay. So Seller Hub, let's start with Seller Hub. Um, as I said, this is the hub, right, as it's called. Uh, from here, you can manage all aspects of your business. You can look at what your listings are doing. You can look at your orders. You can answer questions from buyers. Um, look at how you're performing from an ads or marketing perspective. You can look at your payments and whether you've been and when you've been paid out on your transactions and things like that. And everything about about eBay selling is all in one place for you. So now I'm actually going to switch over and show you and walk through some of Seller Hub directly. So the fastest way to get to Seller Hub is actually to click on the Sell link in the global header. You do have to be signed in for this. And as I just did, it just automatically takes me to my active listings. From here, I can look at a glance and see what's going on with my listings. I can see sort of if I have any offers, if I have any questions, if I want to um, respond to uh, any feedback that I've received um, and, and offers like that. So. When, we'll talk a little bit later about how you can actually revise the listings, but I just want to share with you that you know, overall this is the place um, you're probably going to be spending most of your time. You can also customize. This is really important. So when you are in here and you don't feel like the view that you're seeing is quite right for you, you can actually uh, change the columns. You can show or hide. You can rearrange them in whatever order you feel is is best and then that should be able to set it up in such a way that works best for you and your again for managing your sales. Uh, I also want to touch on the overview tab. So the overview tab is really where at a glance it's all about helping you see what needs to happen in real time. So you might have just had an order you have to ship out or a, a question again that you have to respond to a seller, a, a buyer, excuse me. Um, and, and be able to see sort of what's going on on this page. Um, and again, it's all customizable. You can go in here and you can decide, well, actually, I really do want to see um, my sales in the last 30 days, or I want to see the traffic um, and how it's coming to my listings. Whatever facet of selling that's important to you to see, this is a, the ability to, is there at your fingertips. And then lastly, um, orders, right? So orders are a key part of your experience as well as a seller. Um, you want to see what your buyers have bought. You might have to respond to questions or concerns and things like that if you need to handle returns, et cetera. And, um, and, and yeah, in a nutshell, you know, again, so all of these things, you probably have gone to other workshops. There's other workshops available at eBay Open, which go into some of these features in more advanced detail. Um, so I just wanted to touch on the high level and then again, take you back to um, this is all about, you know, the basics, right, of how do you get started selling on eBay. 
So now, um, coming back to the slides, so we're gonna talk a little bit more now about listing efficiently and how we can help you, again, really get all your listings, your inventory for sale on eBay. So the new unified listing tool, as I was saying earlier, um, this is something where we've redesigned. It's super modern. It's very clean um, interface. The UI is, is intended to help you list, again, like efficiently because it's so simple. Um, it enables you, as you can see as I scroll here on the image, um, everything is summarized very, very seamlessly so that you can see at a glance. This is all, you're probably seeing a theme here, but at a glance is really important because it enables you to pinpoint the, the features that are, or the details of that listing that are most important. Um, and other benefits we have, we've, we've enabled more features as related to your photos. We know photos are so important. So you can now drag and drop and do all sorts of things um, in the listing tool that uh, were not there before, including being able to remove the background if you want a clean white background on your, on your photo. Um, and then also an easier way to add item specifics, which we'll, we'll walk through as well. Um, so now, coming back to the actual demo, um, I'm going to talk about, like, kind of show you how to get to the new tool. So when you first um, land, this is a draft I already had saved. I started the draft and I saved it. I'm, I just resumed it. Um, to get to the new tool, what you need to click on is this link in the upper right. It says, try the new listing tool. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to switch. And then the new tool will load. So I'm just kind of walk through not every part of the flow, but I want to show you some key parts. So first thing you can notice is that the photo section, as I mentioned, so you can actually import from your mobile device. You can also drag and drop from your desktop. Um, in this case, I'm just going to add directly from my desktop. I already have the photos ready. And then I can easily, you know, rearrange the photos, um, move them around, reorder, etc. And also, as I said earlier, I can do editing. So photo editing, some of you may have ways of um, tools that you use to, to edit your photos offline, and that's totally great. Um, but if you want to try out some of our tools, we have, like I said, this image um, background removal capability where you can play around with it. You know, if it helps you, great. If, if you don't feel like it's helpful, then you, know, you don't have to use it either. But you can see like what we've done here is there's um, a computer vision model behind the scenes here that's trying to detect, detect the edges of the, of the borders, basically, of the object and to remove the background so that you have a cleaner white background. In some cases, it doesn't get it perfect. So in this, you know, it's not perfect here that it, it still found that this part, it thought that the background here is part of the image of the object. So I can use the eraser here, right, to kind of erase more of the background. Now, I'm not going to go through and try to zoom in and do all that. You can do that yourself. You can actually zoom in and try to get it perfect with a mouse and, uh, you know, and, and perfect that edge. But, but the tools are here. You can undo if you remove too much. You can paint it back, et cetera. Um, and that just kind of, again, gives you a little bit more um, uh, tools at your fingertips to help you list and, uh, and, and create really great images. So that's kind of a high level walkthrough of the photos. Now I'm going to scroll down and talk about some of the other parts of the flow. So I mentioned earlier that this is a summary, right? So this is helping you see at a glance, like these are all the item specifics, for example. I happen to, um, to create my draft based on a product that's in our eBay catalog. And so all this information was actually pre-filled for me. But let's say that I, you know, I you know, didn't uh, want to actually call this, um, or this actually wasn't a 2017 model. I can easily come in here and change it. Um, super fast. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but just so you're aware, right, these things are all, anytime you see these blue links in here, it means that we can go in and, and change, um, you know, the condition or whatever it is. Um, super fast. I can type in my description, um, basic description, enter my price. We're also working on really great price guidance and research capabilities to help you price your item competitively. Um, and then also the shipping, right? Like be able to quickly enter your weight and dimensions, choose the right delivery service, and then uh, and go from there. So again, it's all here for you. It's, it's available for you to do quickly. You can promote your listing. Um, you can add volume pricing if you have more than one to sell. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other things as well if you want to donate to charity, et cetera. So um, at a high level, this is the new tool, and we'd love to, for you to try it out and to give us feedback, of course, because we're constantly working to improve 
and listen to customers as they use the new tool um, and, and you know, it, keep improving it over time. Um, so now I'm going to jump back to the slides. Um, so next thing we're going to talk about is uh, super exciting for us. We're really excited about this new technology. Um, so as we think about our mobile device, um, we have had a mobile app for a long time. eBay's had a mobile app. You can list items from the mobile app. Um, what we didn't have before is the ability to take the camera that's embedded in your device and leverage the technology of that camera to be able to recognize the object that we're scanning and pre-fill that draft. So if you happen to be selling trading cards, so we currently support this feature in three games on I iPhone and Android. Um, we have Magic the Gathering, we have Pokemon, and we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu as the games we support. We're working on bringing more, um, including like sports trading cards in the future, uh, and more categories as well. But essentially what happens is that you scan the card, it recognizes if it's a match in our catalog, and we have created a vast catalog of cards in these three games. Um, and then we basically try to pre-fill everything um, so you don't have to end up typing. Nobody really wants to type all this information out. It's a lot of work. Again, we talked earlier about your productivity. This is all about saving that time and that productivity. Um, so I'm going to go over to my phone and, uh, and show you how this all works. So let's start with, um, I'm first here I'm on my selling screen and I'm going to tap on list an item. And then to get into the flow, um, for example, I have Magic the Gathering cards here, so I'm just going to start typing as if I'm about to, to list my Magic the Gathering card. So this little blue box pops up here at the top that says tap to search with your camera. So I'm going to tap on that, and then I have to kind of get the um, card in the right frame. It's going to scan. Um, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. <laughs> so this is real life, you know, demo. Okay, here it goes. Um, sometimes the lighting and the shadows, right, you have to kind of get to the right angle. Um, but this time it found the card that I'm scanning, so I'm just going to tap on that. And then what you see here when it loads the listing flow um, is that, you know, I, I do have to actually take a photo. So that scan was really just to recognize what the card was, but I want to take an actual photo. So if I'm actually selling this card, I'm going to take a photo of the front, of the back, etc., and see if there's any, if there's any wear and tear on the card. Um, I want to point that out. But you can see here that it kind of, uh, it pre-filled a lot of the information, the set, the card name. Um, in some cases, it actually pre-fills the description for me and a lot of other information. Again, so I don't have to enter that information myself. Um, and you can see here, I, I just need to provide a price. Um, the shipping is already understood that, you know, we can, um, it's a three ounce card, you can ship it in an envelope. We actually have a brand new shipping service called eBay Standard Envelope, which can also be used for um, trading cards under $20. Um, but it's super fast, right? Like, and you can do this again and again. And what we've seen is that sellers who are using this are, um, are able to scan at least three to four times more quickly, to list three to four times more quickly using this new tool compared to how they were doing it the, um, the previous way. So bear with us as we move back to the slides. Um, Okay, going back to uh, the last part of the demo. So here, I've talked about you know using the unified listing tool on the desktop computer. I've also talked about using the mobile app to scan trading cards. So at some point, you're going to have tons of listings that you've generated, right? That you've created all these listings, and now going back and kind of wrapping um, back to Seller Hub again. I'm going to go back to the Seller Hub screen. So let's spend a little bit more time talking about you know, you have all these listings, what do I do with them? What if I want to make changes to them? Um, and this is where the tools, again, we've built are all about uh, efficiency for you. So for example, maybe I want to look at the um, price of the items. Maybe I feel like some of my clothes, they haven't been selling as well. So maybe I'll, I'll go into the category selector here, the filter, select clothing, and then click the search button. So now it's basically filtering um, in the, within those 12 categories, it's filtering 23 items. And I can see that I have, um, you know, I have some offers and things like that and some questions, but I can easily, I don't have to go back into that listing tool that I just showed you that, you know, and do this one by one. If I want to drop this price to, you know, $12 or whatever it is, I can do that right here. 
and just submit and it's done. And maybe this one, this coach handbag, okay, it's not selling at 49, maybe, maybe 40 would be a more attractive um, price. So basically whatever I feel I can do, I can do this easily by first filtering and then by making inline, we call these inline edits um, directly and it is super fast for you. Um, now let's say another example of what I might wanna do. Um, promoted listings uh, are really, really effective on eBay and you know those are, uh, it helps you really get visibility with buyers. For me personally, sometimes I don't promote the listings right away, sometimes I do. It kind of depends on the item and whether I think um, when I need to promote that listing. So sometimes I go in here and I look at, um, do I have any um, items I haven't promoted yet? And I wanna do that in bulk. So in this case, I can use this quick filter, which is for um, eligible promoted listings. So I'll click that and then I see, okay, these four items, yeah, I probably should promote them. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. Uh, maybe I forgot. And I can click to select them all and um, promote. And then here I can say, I wanna set my ad rate, you know, whatever it is, maybe I'll choose 3%, um, select my campaign, click promote, and I'm, I'm done basically. So super fast. And like I said, these are just two examples of things you can do in the active listings, but there are so many different ways, right? You can actually see I have, um, offers waiting for me to respond to um, and so I can you know take action on those offers I can look at if I'm using auction I can see what I have bids on etc so um, so many so many different things to look at here and to uh, to manage and with that I hope that you have taken away some tips um, you that you have uh, you know kind of um, uh, just in, in wrap up, right? Just to say that I, I hope that this has helped you and that as you get started, um, you'll obviously probably get more familiar with how everything works and also you'll, you'll learn and you'll be able to help other sellers as well. We have such a great seller community who often helps each other learn and share best practices and tips and things like that. So we strongly encourage that, um, that learning in the community. So thank you for your time and uh, happy to answer your questions.